What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Okay, guys, I am going to try my very best to focus on looking at the camera instead of myself. Someone made a comment in one of the previous videos that I'm looking at myself instead of the camera, and it's a little bit off. Um, so I'm going to work on looking at the camera. It always it's it's already feeling weird to me trying to look at the the corner of my phone instead of the center where I am. So if you see me going back and forth, that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to really focus so it can look like I'm looking straight at you guys instead of looking at myself and uh, the the phone. All right, so I want to mention two things today. The first thing is the cruise. Uh, I have been getting a few inquiries. What's going on with the cruise? Is the cruise still happening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The cruise is definitely still on. I'm going to give you guys some basic information about the cruise. And from this video on, I'm going to leave the link of the registration form in the description of every video. So you can go at any given time at any video moving forward and click on that link and, you know, get the latest on what's happening with the cruise. All right, so some basic informa information about the cruise is that the cruise is happening on October the 14th through the 19th. We are leaving out of the port of Miami and we also uh, have a hotel that if you come in the day before and stay at this hotel, which at this point, I think there are at least 70 rooms booked at this hotel so a lot of people are coming in the day before and that's a great thing because that is where we're going to have our meet and greet at the hotel it's going to be amazing because we're going to have food we're going to have t-shirts and some other little uh, things that might go on who knows but i'm super super excited about the meet and greet at the hotel and the cruise in general so as I said, all the information about the cruise will be listed from this point on in every uh, video and the description will be the link to the registration form as well as the contact uh, persons that you can contact if you have any questions, which is our travel agent, Arvella Nelson and Cassie, one of uh, the FOA who has been doing an amazing job with uh, helping out with uh, Avella to make sure that everything go as smoothly as possible with uh, the cruise. So that's it for the cruise. Now, 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 let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, I am super, super excited as well about the next announcement, or this is an announcement. Ah, it is time, it is time. It's time to kick off the 2024 meetup season. <laughs> yes, it is time. I am going to be hosting the very first 2024 meetup. And it's going to be held in Orlando, Florida on Sunday, March the 17th. Now, it's going to be um, either at the Millennia Place or... Hold on, I think I'm getting some mail delivered. Not, that was not no mail. That was just somebody riding past my site. <laughs> All right. So it's either going to be held at the, I think it's called the Millennia Place or the Mall of Millennia. I think they're two different places. Um, to be determined which one uh, the meetup will be held. I'll keep you guys posted as I do a little bit more research at which one of those places might be more suitable. It will be like all others of the meetup or most of the other meetups. It will be held at the food court in one of those at one of those places from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, I will again leave. Oh, excuse me. I posted it on the community page, but I'll leave all the information in the description of this video and the videos moving forward as a reminder to those of you who want to possibly make some arrangements and come out and 
kick off our very first 2024 meetup, FOA meetup. I'm really, really psyched. And I'm hoping this year that I get to have some meetups in some different cities and different states that I have not had some meetups before, mainly in my travels from one campground to the next, like I'll be in Ohio and I'll be stopping uh, a few times on the way to Ohio in different cities and states. So I might have a meetup along the way. Now, if I decide to do that, those meetups are going to be announced very quickly and happen very quickly because it's going to be, I don't know exactly which route I'm taking, but nonetheless, I'll keep you guys up to date with that. All right, guys, with that being said, this video actually started, as you guys saw, on Wednesday. And I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of filming, like, bits and pieces of my day for many days and then make one video. So it's working out pretty good. I think I did that twice already, and I, I kind of like that. All right, guys, let's get on with the video. Hey FOA, what's going on? All right, so today is Thursday, and for some reason, I had an urge to fix something that I haven't had in years, and that is macaroni and tuna fish salad. I I, I don't know where it came from, but it crossed my mind. I think yesterday. And I was like, okay, I have some tuna fish, I have some mayonnaise, I have some uh, noodles. Now, typically, now typically, oh, I can't even say that word. Typically, typical. Okay, we, you know, we're not going there today. But usually, okay, that's a lot easier. Usually, people who use who make macaroni and tuna fish salad use uh, the elbow. Uh, macaroni but I don't have any of the elbow macaroni and Lord knows I don't need another pasta in here I got this I got uh, linguine up there so we're going to go ahead and use some of this ziti that I had for left over from when I made some big ziti and I'm only going to use a little bit of these because last time I over there didn't had like two batches so I'm gonna be cautious this time and I have some water boiling some tuna some mayo, and I think I have an onion up here. And I'm gonna put it in this little cute dish right here. So I gotta be really, really careful at how much of this uh, ziti that I make. because. I want it to go in here, fit in here. That's the right amount for me to have like a side dish when I fix my dinner later on today. So I don't want to overdo it. Got two cans of tuna, I probably only need one since I'm only trying to make that small amount right there. Also, um, I'm going to put some paprika, pepper, some onion powder, garlic powder, as well so how have you guys been doing i hope everyone is doing well out there i'm doing a lot better i sound like i was doing bad or anything i'm talking in regards to my leg i've definitely been putting my uh i've been putting my compression sock on along uh, along with that compression no, not compression. Oh my God, Anthony, come on now. The uh, Salon Pass gel thing around my leg. 
it's early y'all uh, because i wanted to fix this it's like 9 30 in the morning i wanted to fix this so that they can have time to refrigerate because i like mine to be uh cold i have eaten it warm i have eaten it warm as well <clears throat> It's a big onion. All right, the water is boiled. It's getting going. I don't have that much left in here, but I don't really want to fix. I don't want to fix that. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. Don't overdo it, Anthony. I'm only going to need a little bit of onions. So let's see. This should be enough right there. I shall let you guys know. I like the way that I'm... I like the way that I'm making the video. Oh, okay. Y'all a little crooked. What's going on? What's happening today? Sorry, I know I'm all up in y'all grill, but maybe that's the way the, the tripod is on the bed. I think that's what it was. Anyway, <clears throat> I forgot what I was about to say. I did. I really forgot what I was about to say. I guess as you, <clears throat> I guess as you get older, you start to lose your train of thought more often. All right, the noodles should be done by now. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in some cold water in this bowl here.
thought about I thought about putting some, uh, boiling an egg and put in here, but I don't know if I feel like doing that. Anthony, how hard is it to boil an egg? <laughs> Not that hard. Okay. They still feel a little, what they say, al dente. Okay, this looks just about one serving. I know, I'm always bouncing y'all around. All right, that looks about one serving. Let's give a little seasoning to it. Paprika. <clears throat> Onion and garlic powder. this show on the road here. Some tuna. I'm going to put the liquid in here as well. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want the tuna fish to, I don't want the salad to dry out in the refrigerator. Okay. I wonder if I should use two cans. I don't know, y'all. Uh, may as well. Cause you know why? I don't have this tuna fish in here forever. <laughs> I already had it in here forever. <laughs> I already had it in there forever. enough did. Okay, yeah, this looks a lot better. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. This looks like a lot better and tastier. Alright, let's go ahead and put some mayo in here. 
not too much in this one because this is the one that I've been using. See that? Okay, that stuff is squirting all over the place. <laughs> Definitely got to put some more pepper in here because I need to see the pepper grains. I need to see the pepper grains. If I don't see the pepper grains, it ain't working right. Got a little bit of liquid at the bottom, so hopefully that will help it to, to not uh, dry out in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, we need more pepper. I should have tasted one of those bad boys before I took it out the pot. They're a little, they might be a little too al dente. But y'all know me, I don't be tasting my food as I cook. I'll put a little bit of that on there. It might soften up a little bit more in the refrigerator, I don't know. That don't sound like the right concept. Hoping that they, but you know how spaghetti get. All right, this is it. A little bit of macaroni and tuna fish salad. Now the daunting task of finding some place to put this in the refrigerator. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if the refrigerator shut. Yep. All right, guys, that's it for this part of the video. I made my macaroni and tuna fish salad, and later on today, I'm going to fix maybe, I'm thinking some tilapia, and I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm thinking some tilapia, some French style string beans, and the macaroni and tuna fish salad. All right, don't know if I'm going to cook dinner on this particular video. I'll see how I feel when the time comes. But for now, I will see you guys a little later. Hey guys, it is Friday morning and I got to thinking this morning about this whole couch situation and how I would much prefer it to be a dinette section rather than a couch section that I have here. Uh, one of the things that seems to be annoying me about this couch, not only that it's uncomfortable sitting on it for a long period of time, is that my back is against the window. It would be so much better if I had like a dinette chair here and I can look out the window you know the proper way instead of having to turn around and and turn this way and that way and everything to see out of the window so this morning i thought that i would just get up and take a closer look at this whole situation here and speaking of uncomfortable look what i got Ta -da! i have a soft sitting cushion and let me tell you this bad boy is soft too boy and when I sit that down here on the couch and I sit on this floor, whew, it makes a world of a difference than sitting on the original. Uh, look at this thing. You got to press it all down and get... Mm -mm. This bad boy is it's solid on this side. Got these three little plush sections here. 
I got this like three days ago and I have been loving it. I take this bad boy outside with me when I sit outside. But anyway, oh, I bought some new walking shoes because I really don't like those black ones. <laughs> I, don't like I just I just can't wrap my head around keeping those black ones. So I'm gonna send those back and get, get, get I ordered some more like tennis shoes type ones. And I bought them in a women's size because they 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 come in smaller. They come in uh, smaller sizes, you know, smaller sizes than the men's because a lot of the men's shoes, especially the type of shoes that I was looking for, they are like, start at like a seven and, you know, I can go as like a six and a half. I actually wear a six. I have a very small feet. <clears throat> All right, so but getting, uh, getting back to this, this uh, couch here. So I wanted to take a, a look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys back just a tad bit so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. They leaving up out of here because a lot of the folks from uh, Canada come down here and stay throughout the, uh, the winter time and they starting to leave out and the campground starting to look a little empty now. All right, so this is what this looks like there, like this. It has this little thin piece of bo uh, board here that serve, I guess, as the, the main section. Now, I was thinking, okay, this shouldn't be too difficult to, to turn this into a, a, a seat. I mean, I have the foundation of it at, right here. I'm thinking if I can just... Because look, let me show y'all. All right, this basket right here is sitting on the floor. It's sitting on the floor. See that? I'm a, okay, I'm gonna take y'all off here. All right. The basket is sitting on the floor. You can see the other basket right there that's sitting on the floor. So I'm thinking from here where this board is, this middle board right here, to over here could be the width of the seat. So I would already have my base for the seat. So I'm thinking it would be as easy as Look, as easy as where that midsection is right here to cut this board straight across like that. And bam, I got the top of my dinette seat. I have the base of it already right here. And that's all I had to really do. Then, so as I was saying, the base of the board, the, the middle support right here is already there. This is the top of my seat. So basically all I have to do is cut down here, cut this piece down here. I might have to put a board or some section down there. Yeah, I might have to put a board down here so that I can drill this in a little better. This, if this is thin as I don't know what, I don't know what is this. Yeah, get a board. And then basically take this other half. Okay, after I drill this, bam, the seat is there. Take this other piece right here and put that in the front section of the, uh, the seat. Bam. And I still will have all my outdoor storage accessibility because the seat is not yet at the door that I open up on the outside. So. I think that would work. Now, the only thing is, and then, okay, I don't know what I would do for a back of the chair, or even if I need a back to the chair. But if I decide that I do need one, I'll just have to, these are pretty firm right here on the end. I probably just have to build something, a back like right here. Now I thought for a second that it was going to it would interfere in 
this wire here. This is electrical from the outside plug-in right there. I thought it would interfere with that, but it, it would not because the seat would end right here where this middle bar is. And I wouldn't even have to move that right there. I might have to push that in a little bit that way so I can put the board down that way. But other than that, this seems like it's, this seems like it will be really easy. And then I would have to just take this section out. Now it has a, a support piece right here. I would just cut down to there. And then this section right here will be where I can put a small table. Now I haven't decided what type of table I would want. Wow, I got this open. I got my dirty clothes in here. And technically speaking, I can still keep my storage uh, bin right in there. Yep, because the seat will end right here. Bam, seat. Bam, put that other piece of board that's left over from here down in there. And come to think about it, I may not even have to put a piece of board right there. That, that ain't gonna be, that just, that's, that would just be for aesthetic. And I still be able to <coughs> access this. The main thing is I would have to cut down here, get rid of this little section right here so that I can put my feet in there. Hmm. And then I'm thinking, is this, let me bring y'all just a tad bit closer. Then I was thinking, is this enough section? If this is if this is enough space, is this enough space for my feet to go here? Let me see something with this. See, this is big right here. This is all the seating that I need right here, this size. But this is too much space right here. But I don't want I wouldn't risk it in trying to take this centerpiece off because the outlet cord is attached to that so but this would be a bigger seat mm. or here's a thought maybe I can make this section here the seat and this section no <coughs> excuse me no that wouldn't be a good idea because then I gotta take this back piece off right here this is where a lot of the support of it is all right but anyway I think this would be enough space for my legs to go. And if I get a uh, table, maybe I can get a table that, maybe that, maybe I can get a table that, maybe I can get a table that like, I can connect it, but this is really thin. But I did see on one of the uh, reviews, uh, walkthroughs, I should say, walkthrough videos, I did see, <coughs> excuse me, hey, with my morning grogginess again, I, I did see them have a table connected on this wall right here that flipped up, it flipped up. So who knows? But the main thing is to get the seating area. The main thing is to get the seating area in place, you know? Once once I get that seating, the table, and and make sure that I have enough, oops, <laughs> I flip, I flip y'all around. <laughs> make sure I get that, once I get that seating section, why am I sweating already early in the morning? But once I get that seating section, which I don't know, what you guys think? Do, doesn't that look pretty easy to do? Just cut that one section out. This, this, the board on top is already there for the seat. And then for aesthetic reason, I can put the, some of the leftover board, like, you know, in front of where my legs would go. I don't know, I think I can do it.
but I'm gonna go ahead and think about it a little bit because <laughs> it is a big decision to try to do it on your own because you don't really want to mess it up and then mess up the integrity of the trailer altogether, which would be a shame, <laughs> which would be terrible. But I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But before I do leave you guys today, um, I'm going to go and check on my um, macaroni and tuna salad. It's been in the refrigerator for a day, and I want to see how it turns out. How it turned out, whether it, you know, because it's been in there, it, you know, when your stuff is in the refrigerator, it, it can get hard. So let's go and take a look at that. And then that'll be it for today's video. All right. Looks like a nice sunny day so far. Because all that rain the past two days. Good gracious. Enough already. But yeah. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go take a. <coughs> okay. Does anybody else voice is groggy like this in the morning? All right. This is the. The, I say I was gonna say potato salad, but this is the <clears throat> macaroni salad. I'm gonna try to do it with my left hand. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not gonna taste it now because I brush my teeth and just put my teeth in, so we're not going to mess that up. I'm gonna eat me some oatmeal. Okay, it, it's, it doesn't seem like it dried out, which is a good thing. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I can smell the tuna. All right, let me put that down right there. Uh-oh, it's one of these collapsible bones. <laughs> Look, I done collapsed it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.